All right, let's move on with the labels. <clears throat> so we have a brand name brand here. Maybe it looks like since from the top, this side is going thinner, but this side is still rectangular in a way. We can use this area as the cartridge port. Let me show you the cartridge, game cartridges of the PC engine because they are very small game cartridges. And I'm sure we can design something like that. Let me find a screenshot for screen first. I'll try to show you it. Yeah. You see that it's a kind of simple card with a game in it. So uh, this uh, console belongs to, I suppose, 1991 or 1994 between these uh, years. So something like that, a card you insert into this side uh, will be easier. So this uh, label may just inform people about insert the cartridge from here kind of thing you know so and that way we can add the naming or the add the console name here so this will be possibly much more conven convenient way i suppose let's try it we can also change it anytime we want and now for the labels let's start by some fill let me move it inside and i'm going to use some dark colors for the labels let's see nice great <clears throat> actually great and I will be using the good old grain that we are created with a simple white noise by the way I am working on a plastic substance for a while if I finish it someday I want to share it with you because it contains about 50 different plastic finish that procedurally generated within Substance Designer so it will be useful for this kind of effects so the white noise approach on this kind of parts is a primal approach but still works but professional finishes plastic finishes will uh, look uh, will make your uh, designs look more interesting I suppose so I have copied the grainy effects and from the second three objects I am navigating to the labels and paste the grain effect under it so now I have this grain effect also on the labels so let's lower the roughness also here yes I want to lower the grain effect something like this still we need less roughness but I'm not sure why Rain causes it 
to have this here. So I can increase the roughness back. Let me remove the roughness channel from it. Now we can have this kind of roughness. All right. Before that, I'm going to switch to the main body part and I want to remove the uh, grain on the label areas because they look weird if you ask me. And from there, remove the grain. I will add another paint layer. And from there, I will just remove these like that. Let me switch to the mask view. Right. So I'm in the UV chunk mode, so it's easier for me to remove the label mask label areas easily. Alright. Switching back to the secondary objects material and navigating to the label once again. We are going back and forth with this texture sets, but that's the way of holding everything together. Because otherwise, it will be hard for us to keep in mind that we need to adjust something related to another thing. And now let's increase this back. Right. I'm going to switch this white noise back to UV projection. I see that we are texture scale is not good enough. So let me check back this main body with the grain effect because since we have used the texture as a triplanar projection we may uh, we may not having the exact white noise scale in the texel density so let me switch to the uv projection first okay actually no it's fine for this uv scale since uh, we have too much geometry and the for the uh, main body we are ended up with this texel density so we this is not a good thing to have different texel densities between the uv packs but since we are working in the baking workflow we need to have everything in the um uv area so u dims are the best way to deal with this texel density problems but we don't have enough uh, time to divide our UVs into the UDIMs, but we can export this main uh, body texture in 8K to keep the texture density match with the labels. All right, and also we can change the scale of the white noise for the labels because this is too much and by here I'm switching back to the triplanar projection and change the tiling like this yes all right now we have this label and I will adjust the roughness a little bit more. Great. So now I am creating the texts for these labels. For example, 
I'm going to add a single fill layer first for the colors since they are printed. And for that, adding another black mask with paint layer. All right, now we are explaining all the um, functions and the ports around this object. So I'm starting with fill layer, not the paint, because we will use fonts to describe everything. Let's check for a nice font. This suits well. Selecting these texts is cool, but if you reach the outer boundary, it doesn't select the object. You see, I'm releasing the button and all gone. So you don't need to exit this area. That causes my selection problem with this text box. All right, so I'm adding a power text and then I will position it around here. So this is the area I'm going to use the text labels for text labels yeah Let's make it bold. And this is the power. But we need something more. Let's add this feature, blending mode as linear dodge. I'm copying it, setting this as on and off. Nice. Adding a paint. enough. So for the power text, let me see if the angular text formation works. Looks better if you ask me. I will decrease the size. Great. So, continuing. It's really frustrating man <laughs> really 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 strange thing that text box causes me very strange all right I am trying to hopefully write 
to this area this time. And this is the S video. Nice. Duplicating this layer, moving, moving aside. This time we have this AC in. Six volts. Nice. Controller in two P, which means second player. All right. This is the volume. <laughs> yeah. I am moving this here and try to find. Actually, let's duplicate it and try to find a triangle. This works perfect. Nice. And finally, we are having the headphone jack. Lovely. All right, so we have our sticker label defined in a good way. So let's change the color in a little bit darker gray. Which looks much more badass like that. Beautiful. I will still want an adjustment on these buttons. Let's do it actually. So they were in the secondary objects as well. So we have defined the colors individually, right? So this is too colorful. I didn't like it. So let's change this in a way of darker approach. Nice. And I will change the rest of the colors in grayscale. Let's 
starting like this. Finally, much more darker button. Really cool, actually, better than the previous one, if you ask me. The volume button still looks weird. I want to change the color of it as well. This is the correct layer. I want it as a grayscale like this. Beautiful. We can keep the power button as red. Which won't be a problem. Nice, yeah. So we are having a good details, having good details as a volume in the back and also on the front. Yeah, the detail distribution is always important in on this kind of projects. For example, we are having a bad um, blank area here and also here. I want to balance it by adding a brand name here and the model name here. So this may save us from the flat look in front of this device. You see that it's really looking not cool in a way. So for that, I am switching to the main body once again. And this time we are going to have the brand name and the model name. We have texts. So let's add a folder first, brand and model and add a fill layer. We will use this branding and the adding the model name in a printing approach. So let's stick to the color mode and maybe we can use roughness and height as well. For roughness we can lower it and the height will be a slightly high value to create a bumpy effect on the normal map. And since we are having this black mask, I'm going to start with a text. Adding a font. Let's use some of the fonts. Let's try this this time. You may know that I have I used this brand on some of my designs, which I made up as microsonic or multisonic as a brand. We can use this on this project as well. So this is the placement. Let me. Yes. I hate this text box. I will not tired of saying it. 
Yes, let me check my previous designs about this multisonic mark brand I created. Actually, it's not a brand, you know. So it's more or less like that. Multisonic. And I gave a name as armor for the this design, which has a story in the Yahoo, by the way, Wing Fox platform, which is also called as Yahoo. You can check it or or try to uh, you can purchase it by there. I will mimic this design, this brand on here as well. Great. So let's use another text filter and position it. or the model name. And let's make up a name for that. I'm trying to find a name according to the shape or the feel that this generates on me. Let's make the name of this design. First find a good font, by the way. We can make it, write it by the digits also. What do you think? For example, we can make it digitizer. But it's more like a math engine, not a gaming engine. So how about digitalis? Looking like a cool name, huh? Putting it like this. How about keeping the angle? Maybe we can name it as Helmet, since the previous design named Armor. Why not naming this as Helmet? Nice. So let me look to the helmet visuals in a quick way. Let me check for ancient helmets. Standard helmets are more like the 
um, helmets created for the motorcycles. So yeah, something like Roman helmets looks nice. So let's do it. So I will add another paint layer and use my standard brush to create a helmet. Let me position this better. I can move it to bottom. Yes, start. Let's start here. All right. Yeah, I'm looking to the helmets by checking the ancient helmets here. Let's try to make some silhouettes by these helmets. So It will be kind of hard with without a, without a graphic tablet, which I have actually, but I don't. I think I can make it easily like this. Nice. Let's add another paint layer.
lazy mouse helps creating smooth let's keep it that way actually so looking to the references you're nearly there right so this part is not looking good let me make it once again all right nice so i will just move this here keep this and add an anchor point here next i will just add another fill with black Let's keep those here. Next, I will add another fill with this anchor. Yes, we can change the scale, but it will be a little bit hard. Let me see if anchor works better. Nice, actually. So first, I'm going to change the repeat function to none. And next, I will make the positioning like this. nice so let's change the color because darker looks better on this object right let's change the roughness And also I want to set the height to remove the grain. It doesn't work right now. All right, now it works. And yeah, let's change the roughness. Cavity looks also good. nice now we have a good distribution still we are having some hello or plain areas on the left side but since it's a usable 
device not a the not a brochure design actually we can leave it that way but we can move this brand a little bit to the bottom I suppose like this so between the height from here to here nice so also we are having additional details here it will balance it some way so we are adding game cartridge insert label so let's switch to the secondary objects navigating to the labels all right We added this label here, All right? So let's add a simple color for the background of this label. So I am just adding a folder and adding a black mask, adding a paint for this specific label. So everything under it will only affect this one so which will is which will be okay for us all right i am switching to the 2k resolution right now strange that i can't select <laughs> today is it's really interesting while using painter all right now I'm changing the color maybe we can use fully black oh that color was good that one all right now add a text adding another fill with only color channel is selected not like this from top and let's add a black mask and add a fill for the font of course actually my chair was pressing a button so what a professionalism right <laughs> still I can't add a feel very strange all right let's get to our business so very distracted yeah now I am adding game cartridge insert even insert game cartridge setting is at no repeated texture so yes First I'm aligning the boundary and then aligning the size of the text.
Nice. I will add a fill for the triangle. Nice. What I have in mind is adding some white stripes like on the construction vehicles or the dangerous factories for warning people. For that I'm going to change the color of the text first into yellow nice my next step will be adding some fill layer with stripes Something like this, by the way, what I'm planning. So these will be added. All right. Let's put this here. Nice. I think another fill with black, but no repeat this time. Actually, let's delete this layer and duplicate these two effects and change them as direct colors. I'm going to move them here and I will set them normal. All right. Now this works okay, but let me work on this one. Nice. All right, let's check on the screen. Moving this works better. I'm, I'm going to change the opacity. Didn't work. Let's change the value. Maybe the saturation. I would prefer a lighting with a lit panel here, but it won't be available on the 19th technologies much for this for this kind of device of course it can be possible of course but the manufacturers won't bother with this kind of detail on a handheld device even considering it has it needs to be Consider that the power consumption of these devices 
should be taken into account, you know, because the battery systems and the energy storages not much advanced at the 90s. Yeah, this color looks nice, by the way. I lost the model. Yeah. Nice. Let me switch the light to here. Beautiful. So we will add this cartridge port here in Modo and next we will be adding the legal notices in this label with the model name and other additional details and the serial number to here. So let's add the serial number first. Under the labels let me Rename this as game card insert and adding another folder for the serial label. I like serial labels, serial number labels, they are more like metallic stickers which will look good on the device. I will just select this area set a full metallic look and add another fill layer for just the color which will be black Right. Let's add a paint. Sorry. Let's add a black mask and then paint. Not paint. A fill. For a font, of course. <clears throat> there was a good text for the serial. I suppose it was this. Let's made up some numbers. I check my PlayStation Vita. This will work better. And adding some letters like my initials for that case. 
Nice. So one last addition to this kind of serial labels is a tiny waviness on the normals. Since the surface is beneath the object, we are looking from bottom to top. We are not getting good lighting here. So this means we are having hard time to see the shaders for this label. I will also look into it to how to solve this problem. For example, for the environment, we can, I suppose we can change some settings. This doesn't work, but we can use some Yes, this looks not bad actually. Since this environment map has some lighting from bottom, it helps us to recognize the result that we are going to create with Perlin noise to make some waviness on the height map. Let's check the combined normal map. I see the waviness here, which looks okay. With that environment map device looks really cool. Yeah. Nice. So let's work on the bottom label. I will going to create some text content for it and directly apply it uh, to that to for uh, not taking your time so much. So let's take a break right now. All right, so let's move on by the creation of the bottom label. Let me adjust my camera. Yeah. And here for the bottom part, I am going to use the same metallic effect. So on secondary objects, we are again switching to the labels. This is the serial label, but I'm going to use the same material group for the bottom label as well. All right. Maybe I just copy it because the tile is too much. main label. Okay.
nice. So for the text I will rotate my screen. Keep the text area at least like this. And now we can enter the text for this button label. So starting by model label or model no numbers helmet. Zero one. Let's change the size. Let's set the alignment as left. I'll keep the positioning here. All right. So let's add a copyright. Let's check. Character map copied. Oh, it doesn't work with this font. We need to add this manually. So I am adding some spaces and typing some here for that. Right, so let's duplicate duplicate it and set the text for the multisonic brand. So I'm looking for the text from a Nintendo Game Boy.
I mailing up the rules. So Great. So we need a copyright text. Maybe we find it in the alpha library. Let's search for it. I believe I saw it before, but not sure. So a TM not seeing a copyright sign. All right, let's make it manually. So Checking the first, yeah, adding a C here. And I will make it covered with a circle. Let's find one. use a coffee circle set this color in a lighter way looks too dark all right and also the line spacing is not looking right let me correct it This one add another paint. Nice.
I get a typo. What about adding a transform here to adjust it totally? Because text is kind of big. I just want to make it tiny. So let's move to the Modo section and adjust the 3D model for the um, cartridge part. Let's create a backup copy of this mesh. I will save the file in a different file name. Now I can work on this area. So let's create a slice here. Polygon load is too much. It will take some time. Right. working too slow so I will try to work through this surface I will just cut this part it here and try to slice it through here like this so this way I will be, I will be able to keep the UVs as well and the rest of the for the rest of the model I can easily create mesh like this if 
for this mesh I am going to select these and paste it back here it's too early actually to do that let me roll back because we may use some beveling here and there let's remove this edges let me try to roll back to the first stage all right Try to keep the edges because removing just causes losing the vertices. It doesn't work like that. some beveling here like this move it inside another beveling here let's delete the normals actually deleting the normals may not be a good idea let's roll back because I will be copying this back to the object and they has a normal transition between them so removing it is not a good idea but since I have some sharp edges here it won't be a problem to remove the normals for this newly created part and finally I will add let me see right so let's create a simple box for the eject button to remove the cartridge of course nice now I will be having the same material for the main body for these parts let's cut those 
actually before that let's create a vertex normal for those and then cut and paste here now only thing remained is to add the UVs for it but we can't change the UVs of the rest of the objects so I'm creating a UV projection I'm using a UV projection tool let's put them here I'm selecting the main body materials objects hiding the rest And the important part is the texel, texel density between those objects. So first, I'm sampling the texel density of this part. And by selecting these, I'm applying to these overall. And I will put somewhere to... I will find somewhere to put this newly created UVs which won't be a problem because there are too many empty closed islands nice so we keep the texel density here we created the shape but one problem is we forgot to create the UVs for the eject button because we didn't assign the same material for that as well. Now it's fixed. Let's hide everything except the eject button. And maybe we can add some parts to here let me create some new separator Let's do it in the smash. <laughs> right, let's move this near to the button. Nice, now we can just cut and paste this to here as well. Selecting this all. And using the same texel density for these as well. applied to everything nice we have position for these UVs and 
Let's keep those here. Nice. Now saving my project file. Exporting again. Let's make it two. In the painter, I am saving this project from the settings. Sorry, the project settings. I will re import the new one. We need to create the. Oh, sorry, that we have left the material for the middle part. Let's change its material once again and re export it. So, all right, we don't need this default material, let's remove it. Nice. Now I have to make the main body mesh maps once again. Right, and looks nice so far. So I am adding an eject icon here. For that, I'm going to add a mask for remove the grain. First, I will add a paint. And there I will use triangle like this. Actually, we need to add this, add this as a fill layer. Sorry. And by there, let's move it here. Open the UVs. So moving the repeating option. I'm putting this triangle here. Like this. Let's duplicate this one. Change it with a fully white color. Right. It's an eject button. So I'm moving this to the bottom and add an anchor point for that. And now I will use a color for it. So to do that, let's add a simple layer.
Actually, we don't need to use this kind of anchors. Let's copy this here and paste it to there. Yes. Also, let's copy this paste it here. Possibly I paste it to the wrong place. Yeah. Now I will remove the previous ones. Right. Now we have grainy material here. Let's adjust it by here. Nice. Let's set the color as something matches with the color of this part. Maybe we change the color a little bit. the same no it looks nice right now all right so we eject the cartridge by here but we have the same helmet on this area as well let me see why did this happen? We had a layer name with brand and the model. Yeah. Yes. All right, the shell looks nice, and also the rest of the console is looking good. We have the cartridge part finally. Yes. Also, we can do add a hatch here as well. I will do it in Modo without creating any more import options. Or maybe we just do it right here. So I will copy this one. Let's rotate it. shape it's triangulated somehow let me see strange
All right, looking good so far. Trying to make it look like a hatch. using the same texel density for this piece as well moving the UVs here so we debugged some problem that we have forgotten while designing the piece but finally we solved it with the easy way let's record let's save the file and export once again one final time <laughs> Here in the painter, I'm re importing it. Nice. Let's bake the mesh files, mesh maps for the main body. Nice. The density between here is not looking good, by the way. I wonder why. Sometimes Atlas projection generates wrong UVs. Let's relax those to keep their proportion. Right. Software got really slow right now. This made us wait longer than the previous one. 
Let's check these. Yes, the grains are not looking like the same ratio. So I am going to check the texel density of those once again. All right. So applying it overall just causes the problem. So let's make it apply individually. Why this one is larger than the other one? Very strange. All right, so let's cut this here and work on it right here. Let's try it this time. Yes, works this time. So let's bake the mesh maps once again. Nice. So I want to remove the grains from this area because it's a hatch, you know, and it don't need to get, it don't need to have this kind of grain. Still, we have trouble on matching the scale of the UVs. Very strange that Modo just failed on the matching the texel density. Maybe the cows. Uh, Maybe the reason was the using the overall option on doing that. Also for the eject button, we need to set the height as a normal blend to make have this indent. 
Switching back to standard base color and remove the grain for the hatch. I'm switching to the object mode. So we have removed the grain like this. Let me see how it looks. Maybe we can decrease the opacity here to have a tiny gradient, a grain around the hatch. So it's okay. Looking nice. So we have all the details at the back the bottom let's do something for this label yes for that, let's add another fill layer. To create some frame for it. I tried my chance to create a frame, but blurring is not working good. Actually, New Painter has a nice feature that allows 3D blurring, but I think. I didn't check to use it yet. Strange that I switched to the stencil mode, I suppose. So, let's create some manual paint for this area. Our alpha is triangle, by the way. First I will remove the spacing and next I will select the alpha to shape. Alright.
Nice. So let's remove the outer part. All right. At least this way it looks much better than the previous. We are having nice reflections on the device. Let's change the environment. Nice, only the screen part has left. I will look for some um, game screen to apply to the screen or otherwise, since we are not using, uh, adding and um, actually inserting a game cartridge here, we can just use a single pixelated image here. For example, for the screen, Let's check the branding logo, by the way. I will copy this brand and model and paste it to the screen. Right now we are having this so looks weird right now because we used painting there actually it will be a problem here so let's delete this first and I will create a copy of the existing brand logo I made so Switching to the main body once again from the brand and mod brand and model layer. I will set the, check the texture resolution first. It's 4K, which is good, and then I will export mask to a file. So I am. Saving this as logo helmet dot png. Right, this is our logo. And let's create a texture for the screen. I'm creating a low res docu document.
nice now we can do some additional text here Nice. Now I will save this. Actually, before doing that, I want to resize the canvas. in a square resolution nice alright so we can just use this PNG as a texture Nice. And for the screen. I will delete this and add a field for MCU channel. Nice. Only problem is that we are having some mip mapping. So let's scale this up. In the nearest neighbor. get more pixelated result nice we have a spot here remove it and rest looks good so my other approach will be adding some grid lines to these textures so to do that we need to be using a pixel perfect scaling which won't work nice as a starter but let's try it first I will resize the canvas A 512 and then resize my document to 248 with nearest neighbor selected I will set, save and re-export the texture let's reload apply it here right so let's scale first but before scaling I'm going to add 
another fill layer with grid with tile actually maybe we can use a tile generator as a filter Add a generator. I will use tile. Cannot do it. So it doesn't matter. Let's use a fill. For that fill, I will use a shape. Shape brick. is not good yes square rectangle is the best for this increasing the size first and then I will tile it this way let's multiply it and trying to fix the pixelation it's not a pixel perfect approach right now but let's try to make it look like as it is at least nearly matched which won't be so much a problem. My next step will be adding some pixel design for the screen. I need to work on it on a different software like on my Android ta tablet or something. We'll try to do some nice looking pixelated object on it. And later I will check the glass for this because the glass needs some work I suppose and the rest of the object is looks really nice to me actually only the screen is needs some extra work let me work on it for a while and then we will put the screen over it and next we will export the textures and move it back to the Marmoset toolback. So see you on the next session. Possibly I will be recording in a short time or after a um, little break. Goodbye.